on a deeper level, I can tell you personally from the journeys that I've taken into some of the most magnificent, beautiful, pristine, remote, and isolated places remaining in the world today that the conditions and the diseases that we often take for granted here in the Western world, in the modern world, either because of age or simply because uh, of environment, they simply do not exist in some of these other cultures. I've been with people in the Southern Andes where the cancers simply don't exist. They don't get breast cancer and prostate cancer. Uh, in Asia, in Egypt, uh, in the Middle East, uh, people well into their 100s uh, who have memories just as sharp as attack. And we're often told that dementia and, and the loss of memory is a function of age. It's less a function of an age, from my experience, and more about how we live as we attain that age. What are the factors that contribute to these conditions that are stealing from us the very thing that we cherish the most, and that's life itself, both ours and our loved ones? And the answer is sometimes difficult for people to see, but it is in the way that we have chosen to live our lives and the way we've chosen to think and believe about ourselves as we're living our lives. And these are two separate yet related ways of, of looking at, at what's happening to us in our bodies. When I was in school, I was taught that the brain is the master organ in the body. And the brain is certainly important, uh, and we all acknowledge that. But what the new science is showing us is that the brain receives many of the instructions that tell it what to do, that tell, the, tell it what chemistry to release into the body, what hormones to trigger within our bodies. It's true, those signals come from the brain, and the brain receives the instructions telling it what to do from our heart, the human heart. And it probably shouldn't be so surprising that the heart plays such a powerful role in our lives because it's the first organ that develops in our bodies when our mother's womb. Before any other organ develops, the heart develops first. And one of the great mysteries in the Western medical model is what is it that triggers that very first heartbeat? What is it that happens in one instant where there is a mass of cells and tissue that are motionless and the next instant something happens, the spark that triggers the life that begins beating is our heartbeat. What happens? Science has yet to answer that question. They don't know for sure. This is one of the places where our ancestors had an answer that science simply cannot support at this time. And what our ancestors said to us is that that first heartbeat, it's the moment that the soul comes into the body, the moment that we make the connection with something greater, something bigger than ourselves. And whether we believe that scientifically or not, the fact is that something happens with that first heartbeat and we become enabled and capacitated as a human being in ways that no other creatures that we know of have the ability to express. That's what gives us our power to heal. As I mentioned, it's often said that we begin dying the moment we're born. And what the science is showing us very clearly is that we now begin healing the moment we're born. And the reason I can say that is because we now know beyond any doubt every organ in the human body is wired to heal. 